When you were talking about your faha, so tell, explain what that is for the audience because yeah. that's sort of a newer term. Like they used to just call it your compression garment, mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it's a faha. Um, so tell us about what you wore mm -hmm. in that first couple weeks. So for the first uh, like seven days, I wore the compression garments that that I received from you guys. Um, and then after seven days, the swelling had gone down and they weren't tight enough, which is Oh, amazing. <laughs> Cause that means I was getting skinnier and skinnier. Um, I, I was cleared to go to my masseuse after my post-op, which was four days later. So I went to her on the fifth day and she said on the 10th day, I can get into like a stage two faha. So the faha is more like a new thing. I think in the last 20 years, like Lipo has always been able to suck the fat out, but the faha is about shaping the body so okay. that once your fat is gone, like, what do you want your body to look like? So the fahas have more contour, more of a okay. snatched waist than just a regular compression garment. They're really going to snatch you. It's really imperative to wear them, like imperative. My masseuse explains it like this. Your body wants to go back to homeostasis. So my body really wanted to put the weight back on in my stomach and, and where my new waist had been created above my hips. Um, that's where I held a lot of weight is like right above my hips, like, you know, the tire situation. Oh, uh -huh, So she's uh -huh. like, if you don't wear a compression garment, your body, the fat's gone, but your body will actually try to get back to its old state by putting scar tissue there. Oh, so the compression okay. says, Hey, Hey, Hey body, no <laughs> space here. There's no space uh -huh. here for that. So it's, insanely important to wear the faha and to get one that has like my stage two was like aggressively snatched it looked i looked like a bug <laughs> i look like how cardi b looks but it is to like really like say hey body do not go out at the waist stay in stay in and, and it worked you know and now i'm three months a little over three months i wear my faha to work and to sleep but all of my lounging, so like weekends, I don't wear it unless I'm sleeping, work and sleep. So I'm probably in it maybe 70, eh, 75%, maybe less actually, 50%. Where do you stop with the Vaha? Like at what point or when? Not where. I don't know. You <laughs> when do you? It's so crazy because you think it's going to be the most uncomfortable thing ever, but it actually is, it makes you feel like really like you're still doing something to make sure that your surgery was worth it, you know? And I want to do that as long as I can. I'm probably looking at six months to a year of trying to at least wear it at work. That's eight hours a day. And um, on the days I don't wear it to work, try to wear it to sleep, like on the weekends. So um, a lot of like the South American women that get those amazing results, the Brazilians, the Colombians, they wear them constantly. 